Hello my fashion babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina for those of you who have not been on my channel yet and because you guys have commented that I should go back to doing reviews and unboxings since I tried to do a little bit of you know travel vlogging and if I've been to a um, anywhere interesting like the yacht show or like a private jet experience the private jets you're doing great but the boats you guys were not really into that so because you commented so much on how badly you're missing my reviews well here I am back doing a Chanel haul and a review on everything that I bought I didn't buy them all but as you can see there's like a lot of stuff going on I didn't buy them all at the same time. I bought them in three different boutiques because I didn't find everything that I wanted, but I waited to put all of them together so that I can do a big and complete um, review and haul on these products. So if you want to see um, the boots, if you want to see the accessories that I got and know more about all of these Chanel goodies, Continue watching. Also follow me on Instagram. I have two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style, if you want to see more fashion and more daily posting. And if you do like content about fashion, traveling and lifestyle, subscribe to my channel. And now let's start before the sun goes down. Okay, and let's start with the smallest little bag. I absolutely love the Chanel packaging and the Chanel boxes and the Chanel everything, you know, Chanel, Chanel. So I, this is an item that, to be honest, I do not wear very often, but I find it super fashionable and I realized that I do not have one single item of this kind. So I said the best would be obviously from Chanel. So it comes in the cute little box and we have a Chanel Ta -da! brooch. Isn't this so beautiful? It comes in this cute Chanel pouch, very, very soft. And um, it's with little pearls. I bought it because I also have this necklace from Chanel that has the cute pearls. So I just thought it matches and it's very beautiful. And this is it. Let me show you how you open it. You have to pull it down and that's it. Pin it in. So nice. And the little Chanel details, well, no one sees it, but it's so beautiful over here in the back. The quality is very good. It's brass. It's quite heavy. Next. Um, Honestly, you guys, I carried all of these with their boxes for you because I would never take the boxes. I would really just leave them in the hotel room and I, or I wouldn't even take them from the store, to be honest. But because I know that you guys like a very, 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 very in-depth review and you like to see the packaging and everything, I took them. So this time I got a white bag. The brooch, I bought it in Rome. This I got in Paris on my last trip and white bag, why not? Also good. I realized that I do not really have um, beanies that are simple and like cool kind of beanie and then I also don't have an elegant kind of a beanie I only have one from Louis Vuitton which is like beige but nothing on black so I saw in Geneva this beanie that they only had in grey and I was desperately desperately looking for it in black and guess what in Paris it was the last one how cute is this beanie with the Chanel super discreet sign over here. Chanel inside also. It is made out of 100% cashmere. To be honest, it was quite pricey for a beanie. Um, I don't usually like to discuss prices, but maybe like I should tell you because I would be interested in knowing how much a beanie is. This was 560 euros. Quite, yeah, quite a lot. 
But anyway, it's a beanie that you're gonna keep forever. It's black, simple, discreet, with the Chanel over here. You can see it. It's super, super beautiful. Works with everything. The shape, it's great. You know, I don't like these beanies that are too big over here and they look something like this, you know, and then you end up like, what is this? So this is super nice, keeps my ears warm and in winter I absolutely need and I love to wear beanies. So really, really amazing. And then the next one, you probably see it all over Instagram. It's super hard to find. I, it was the last one. I went to all the Chanel boutiques in Paris to look for this beanie. And when I found it, I was like, yes, finally. This is a more grungy kind of beanie that is... I, I unboxed it and I unpacked it because I wore it like crazy in Paris and everywhere. Are you ready? Ah! It's so cool, right? So cool. And look at the Chanel. It's not like, like it's, um, how do you call it? Stitched. You know, it's like stitched Chanel sign. It's not just the uh, plastic or just a little like stamp. Oof. This is much thicker and it is made 70% of wool and 30% of cashmere. It's very warm, but this is a bit more like, you know, grungy, cool. Like now, for example, as my elegant look, this wouldn't work, obviously, but the other one definitely works much better. But this is crazy cool for like an easygoing day-to-day -day look. No? What do you think? Which one do you prefer, you guys? This or the other one? This one was um, 490, so less than the other one because it's not cashmere so cashmere is automatically more expensive moving on let's take the oh it's so heavy the big bag oh my god you guys do you see how big this is it's super heavy i honestly it was not pleasant to carry it in the plane look look at the difference between these two this is like a normal size chanel bag and then this is like a massive Chanel bag. Oh. So, this next item is an item that was love at first sight. I put it on, I tried so many, and then pff, I didn't like anything, and then this automatically, immediately, immediately, I loved it. It's a scarf. This scarf, you guys, came in a huge <laughs> box. Um, you know like the boxes that you get when you buy bags but unfortunately I had to leave that one behind because it was impossible for me to carry my suitcase and everything so you are going to see it without the packaging that's okay right I, I hope it is so this absolutely magnificent scarf with the Chanel sign over here Chanel over here I absolutely loved the material it is so soft and the colors in it, it's like a beigey, grayish, brownish, blackish. It's basically something that works with anything. And here it has the black. And what I absolutely adored is that it has two sides. So you can wear it like this. How cool. Or you can wear it the other way around. Like this. Nice and warm. It's very nice and very, very, very cozy and very, very, very warm. And then you have the Chanel. Ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. I think it's from the silk that you feel it's so soft. It's so, so soft and so warm. And it's quite big as well. So you can put it as a shawl if you want or like this. I'm ready for winter now, guys. I am ready to be hot in the cold weather come on so cool the thing is you need to go there and ask them exactly what you want because in chanel they don't have everything outside so if you wouldn't know like i knew i told her i want the scarf i want this specific beanie i had a photo and then she like looked and um, searched for everything because otherwise, the problem is that they don't really take everything out all the time. So you end up going there wanting to buy something and 
you just never find what you want because they don't show you everything they have. That's what I think. Next, we are gonna move on to boots. Let's continue with the super big bag. I feel like I'm doing such a rushed um, vlog just because there's no more sun and I don't want to film in complete dark. The boots, I wear them because as you guys know, or if you don't know, let me tell you again, I absolutely love to give you an in-depth review of the items that I buy after I wear them because you never know, they might look good but they might not be comfortable so in the end they're not gonna be a good investment and I don't want you guys to buy stuff I did this mistake so much buying shoes especially that looked good but then felt horrible and I wish someone would have told me if they're comfortable, if they're not because in the store, of course, what are they gonna say? so comfortable, so comfortable, so comfortable so we have pair of boots all of them super nicely packed trust me they were nicer than this um let's see how do we do this okay with the chanel dust bags inside i bought these in paris as well yeah these are the ones from paris um again love at first sight how cool are they? They are more of mountain sportive boots. Oh, amazing. They have material in the front, super thick sole, leather over here, the little Chanel sign, super discreet, the laces in front. To be honest, I wish they would have given us laces that are just black as well, not only black and white. They're more sportive kind of boots. Like these ones would work with this beanie more than the other elegant one. And um, oh, they have the Chanel sign over here as well. Discreet, but you can tell, like you would know what they are. So these boots, either there's a problem with Chanel sizing or there's a problem with my feet. Because I'm usually a size 40, but with Chanel, with both the boots, I had the same problem. Size 39 and a half was too small, was too small. And then size 40 is too big. But I learned my lesson and I said to myself, you know, it's best if I just buy a bit bigger. And in the end, maybe it's better if I just put a little sole inside or I uh, put a thicker sock than buying small and not being able to move my foot inside of it and not being able to wear them, especially in winter. You want to have a thicker sock and your foot might get swollen and you want to be comfortable and move around in your shoe. You don't want to like stay all stiff and tied up, which is what I would do if I really, really, really love a pair of shoes. So these are size um, 40, but to be honest, they're too big. I mean, my foot is very narrow and these are very wide. So if you have a wider foot, they're gonna be great for you. They don't stretch a lot. They are leather, but over here they're quite tight. So take care that they will not stretch probably. Um, the problem is that I need to wear a very thick sock for these ones to work if I want to wear them a lot and walk around a lot because your foot is going to end up moving inside and you're going to get a blister in the back of your feet and that's not going to be very comfortable and that's not going to be good otherwise otherwise they're great look at the bottom all the chanel Chanel, 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 Chanel. Imagine walking in snow, you can like step and make all these Chanel, Chanel signs. They're very cool. To be honest, I love them and problem solved. You just wear a thicker sock. Uh, you must open the lace all the time, every time you want to wear them. But it's good that even if you have a thick or a narrow foot, you can tighten up the laces or open them up as much as you need to. And these ones were 1,550. To be honest, it's a good investment. They're gonna be cool for a very long time. And I bought them as um, an alternative to my Prada boots. I did a, an unboxing on that also because I wore them like crazy. I wear my Prada boots with 
everything the monolith Prada boots with everything so I thought maybe this year you know I can switch it up a little bit and use these instead these ones as you can see they are a little bit shorter than the other more elegant boots and uh, when you walk they also hurt a bit here in the back because my foot is very thin and so it has a lot of space to move so I left one of them um, tied until the middle and the other one tied until all the way up so you see the difference and you see how they look both ways because they can definitely be worn either like this or like this, whatever you prefer. And this is them. And as I said here in the back, they are very, very, very rigid. Probably because it's not leather and it's this material that it makes them rigid and it kind of hurts your foot. But they're very wide. My foot kind of moves. They're a little bit big. I mean, my foot, my toe is over here, but then I have, look, all this space. I'm sure if you do have a wider foot, it's, um, they're better than for a thin foot like mine. But they're great. If you guys have any questions or you want to know anything extra about them, please do let me know in the comments and I will be very happy to answer you. Let's move on to the last item of this haul. I didn't want this to happen, but it did happen. It's dark outside and it's only six. Winter is approaching quickly. So the next box is um, also filled with boots. I don't know why I have the feeling this year that I'm lacking boots and guess what they're also black boots uh, my next boots are gonna be beige for sure I do not own any beige or ivory or white boots yeah I have to I'm done with black boots so also super nice box and uh, Chanel packaging uh, the dust bags inside, one for each boot. And now I bought something a little bit more elegant. Guys, I didn't tell you what's inside the boxes because there's really nothing. It's just um, the box, the super nice Chanel packaging with the Chanel everywhere. Can you see it? I mean, it's full of Chanel. And then um, a little card that tells you about the leather. The dust bag and that's it. I love their Chanel boxes. They're also super cool for decoration. So in case you do not want to throw them away, you can use them in your wardrobe. Super nice in decoration. Or you can use them um, as storage. So the other pair of black boots is a pair of more elegant boots. Here you are, these beauties. I absolutely love that one boot has the Chanel sign over here. And then the other boot on the inside has the Chanel written with um, rose gold. It's very nice. Very, very nice. These are simple, easy to wear. Uh, black boots inside there this super nice burgundy they are insanely comfortable insanely comfortable really I got a size 40 as well because 39 and a half was too small a 40 was a little bit too big but my foot in these ones doesn't move at all um, and so honestly a size 40 is very 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 good in the end so I would say these ones do fit true to size they have a little heel so they make you look a little bit taller. They are super elegant, super, super, super elegant. They're never gonna go out of style. I mean, can you please tell me when a pair of black, simple Chanel boots are gonna go out of style? Because um, I do not have the answer to that. And you have inside the Chanel sign. Uh, 
over here. Well, can't really see it well. Oh, Christina, you hate this. Take it off. I forgot to take it off. Out. Please do not forget to throw these out because they are not cool. 100% um, leather. They have a stitching over here, so if you do have a foot that's a bit wide, it could hurt you over here. For example, my mom should have gotten a size 40 and a half, even though she's a size 40, just because her foot is very wide and it would hurt her over here. But because it's such a very soft leather, I'm sure it's gonna stretch easily and you're not gonna have any problems with it. But the, look, look at the beautiful stitching. Look at them. Amazing, amazing, amazing boots. I'm very happy I bought all of these pairs of uh, shoes, both black, but they're different. You know, these are working with the other black beanie and the scarf, and they're more elegant. You can wear them with a dress, you can wear them with a skirt, with tight pants, even with like mom jeans, but the other ones are more grungy, more... These are more feminine, I would say. And these are easier to wear, I mean, you just slide your foot inside and that's it. You're ready to go. It's like uh, the Chanel version of Uggs. <laughs> Put them in. I'm not wearing any socks now. Just to show you how easy they get on your foot if you have a narrow foot. My mom tried to put them on and it was impossible. So these are the beautiful, elegant Chanel boots. And this was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you liked the products that I got in Chanel. Um, if you did like this video, do subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram. I have two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style. And see you in the next video. Have a good day and a wonderful rest of your week. Goodbye, guys.